When I was a sophomore in college, I started training for my first half marathon. My little sister had recently run a full marathon and inspired me to get started. As any runner will tell you, running is the best way to get to know any city, even your hometown. When I ran, I got to see the city from a totally different perspective. Different forms of transportation and even different approaches to the world can reveal different things to us. The philosopher Martin Heidegger has a concept to capture this kind of experience. He calls it inframing. And he can help us understand this question of how technology shapes what we see. Technology provides diagnostic tools revealing the inner depths of the human body. Technological tools have advanced medicine, allowing us to conduct surgeries on the micro scale and look for extraterrestrial life at the furthest corners of the universe. In our daily lives, we use our phones to get anywhere in the world, answer any questions we might have, and talk to our loved ones face to face while hundreds of miles apart. On the other hand, smartphones allow bullying to happen anonymously online, facial filters on social media allow us to see our perfect faces that will never truly be ours. Are we using it as a tool or is technology using us? When I was running across the city, I had different needs than when I took the subway or even drove. A runner needs clean, uninterrupted sidewalks, good weather, and a safe environment. On the subway, environment and safety are also important, but I had less needs when it came to the weather. While it might be comforting to think that technology is neutral, technology has power that could be used for good or evil. Some philosophers think that technology is merely a tool, like a hammer or a chair, something that waits for the user to determine its use. This perspective is called instrumentalism. Others would argue that technology is deterministic, meaning that technology is so powerful that it shapes society. Technology will inevitably progress and we are merely along for the ride. This perspective can be found in literature, science fiction, and even the news. The truth likely lies somewhere in the middle. Heidegger introduces the idea of technological inframing. He says that technology reveals the world and can shape our understanding of it. Technology is powerful and can shape our worldview. A city explored by car is very different from a city explored by foot. We as designers make decisions about how the car might look. Is it a convertible or not? And those design decisions shape what the user sees and how they might think about the world. A driver of a convertible might care about whether it's sunny or rainy, just like someone exploring the city on foot. Someone with four wheel drive isn't gonna care as much about the snow as someone with a minivan. These decisions we make when designing or even picking a car are going to impact our daily concerns. Technology is powerful. Technological literacy is essential and us designers and engineers have a lot of power to shape the way our users see and interact with the world around us.